Hello guys and welcome back, this is Player and today I'm going to show you uh, another kind of item elevator and this time I'm going to show you um, the item elevator using the pulling up behavior again just like the um, entity elevator, the two block entity elevator using the 1.9 behavior so this works with items as well that I discovered and um, it's actually a little harder to achieve but here uh, I've done it and let's just see it in action so you throw the item into the water tree and then um, it goes up let me just do this and then it will arrive at the top here so it's quite simple but um, it's relatively expensive as you need items I mean redstones um, running or um, a few blocks wide of redstone running or up to the level you want to um, want the item to be tr be tran uh, transported over to. So, but actually, this is quite neat. Another new idea for um, item elevator. Um, so. Right beside this ele item elevator it was um, this item elevator that I recently just um, just made just to uh, show a fancier version of item elevator using sand blocks to bounce up the items level by level. So just another idea of how items can be traveled upwards. So even though this this item elevator is actually quite easy to make but I'll still um, explain and make a tutorial on how to make this thing after I receive this item back oh, okay so let's get started with the tutorial so the first thing you need to know is you need some packed ice or ice which I recommend using packed ice as they will not melt and the first thing you want to do is again make an L shape which um, I'll do it right, um, in the air because I want to tear it down uh, later and then again you would put down a wooden pressure plate um, it doesn't have to be wooden but it just um, looks better for me and you are going to use another wooden pressure plate la uh, la later on so I'll uh, be using this wooden pressure plate and then um, you need to block off um, the water but you cannot use a block here you need to use something else um, not really a solid block you can use a fence you can use um, iron bars and signs as well but here I'm using iron bar and there I'm using um, the wooden pressure plate again but anyways, um, now you, what you need to do is to um, build a wall not not what um, did be mentioned by Trump but yeah, just build a wall around and, and then the next thing is to again put down a wooden pressure plate and then um, it's almost finished and the thing you need to do is to put a piston here and then yeah so um, now for the resting part it is again um, somewhat simple but let me just check how I did it so I had um, for me I used two resting repeaters but I think you don't need that much but anyways I'm using two here and then you want run the redstone upwards to the piston. So I think, yeah, when we fill it up with um, water, it is quite finished. Let me just check. Yeah, so now it's finished a uh, one floor, uh, I mean, two blocks of beta using this design. And a uh, thing that I missed was. Um, you better use a, a solid block other than the packed ice on this block. 
so that the item can get stuck at this level and then uh, it wouldn't be um, thrown too far so yeah so it works and um, if you want to build another floor you need to do it like so uh, you need to again put down another piston and then um, just run the redstone upwards with the two, two tick delay but as we are using our monostable circuit we cannot just do it with a two tick delay we need to um, make two use two repeaters to do so and um, so I think it works like this let's just check yeah, so um, let me just explain why we need two tick delays um, that's because when the item gets stuck up here the um, piston is still retracting in a motion of retracting and then as um, the piston is still retracting the item will get stuck inside the piston so um, if we activate the another pistons too fast um, the item as the item is still inside this piston not yet um, in this air block so um, this piston cannot reach the the item and cannot suck it um, through itself and go upwards so if you understand um, how it works then yeah so so that's how it works um, yeah so it's quite easy to build but um, I still do not recommend building it in survival mode because as it is um, comparatively a little slower uh, than other designs like uh, tunnels or even this one this one um, another item shooter thing that I built in response to those design and I also did a tutorial of that one be sure to check that out and um, so I guess that's all for this video again I'm just showing off the um, idea of using the pulling up behavior using the piston behavior in 1.9 and um, yeah so if you guys have any ideas on improvements or any other things you can do with this um, construction or this design be sure to leave a comment and tell me what else to do with these designs and um, so I guess that's all for this video and uh, let's just use this thing once again and we'll end the video personally I think that is quite cool so yeah I think that's all for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed the video so I'll see you guys next time bye bye